Hello, and welcome you for this presentation from Valve Controls, on Safety Shutdown Valve Health Monitoring Solutions. In this industrial world, many process operations are looking for better ways to monitor and manage their assets to increase efficiency and productivity. This is achievable by monitoring the condition of the equipment regularly using an intelligent device, and with the collected diagnostic data, the potential failures are predicted. This helps in performing corrective maintenance activities. This presentation covers the below topics. Why does monitoring of the safety shutdown valves are significant? and the benefits of predictive maintenance over routine and preventive methods, and types of failures caused in the valve, such as aging and random failures. And then we will see how such valve failures are identified well in advance and corrected using the predictive maintenance approach. Most importantly how digitalization helps process plants to measure and analyze the key performance indicators and quickly troubleshoot problems thereby improving the plant profitability. Why condition monitoring of shutdown valve is significant? Safety instrumented systems which is called SIS consists of a sensor, a final control element, and a logic solver. Final control element of SIS is not continually moving like controlled valve, but normally remains static in one position and then operate only when an emergency situation arises. According to offshore reliability data, 50 to 60 percentage of safety loop failures are caused by the final control element. Failures are categorized into two types, such as safe failures and dangerous failures. Safe failures will have impact on the plant operations or reliability, while dangerous failures will put safety of their asset, environment, and personals at risk. Final control element consists of valve, actuator, and control system. Let us see some facts about failures caused by each component. Many potential failures of a safety shutdown valve can remain unidentified or not monitored. Typical problems associated with safety shutdown valves are Valve not moving due to blockage of ball, or plug, or disc. Contamination by process fluid on the valve internals. Valve shaft or stem twisted or broken. Valve actuator coupling damaged. Issues related to actuators are Piston seal leakage. Piston damaged or blocked. Spring damaged or broken shaft and the coupling failures failures caused by control system mainly due to solenoid valves are pure quality of instrument air supply solenoid pilot line leakage or no pilot pressure coil failure solenoid valve spring broken or plunger stuck when a new plant is started up the valve performance would be good, but over the period of time, valve performance tends to degrade. If bad performing valves are not overhauled or replaced, it leads to major safety risk. Can be source of fugitive emissions. Leads to unplanned shutdown. Can be a major source of profit loss. So the question is, how to identify the bad performing valves? Companies follow various maintenance programs such as reactive and preventive maintenance to increase operational reliability and to reduce costs. As reactive maintenance leads to safety issues and production losses, most companies try to prevent failures before it occurs by performing regular checks on their valves. What is challenging in doing preventive maintenance is determining when to do maintenance. Since you don't know when a failure occurs, you have to be conservative in your planning, especially if you are operating safety-critical equipment. 
but by scheduling maintenance very early, you are wasting valve lifetime that is still usable, and this adds to the cost. However, if you can predict when failure occurs, you can schedule the maintenance right before. The good news is that, predictive maintenance led you to estimate the time to failure. It also pinpoints the problems within the valve, and guides you to fix the problem. In this way you can minimize the downtime, and maximize the valve lifetime. Let us see, how condition monitoring is applied to age-related safety valve failures. Here valve degradation is identified, and possible corrective actions are taken, by doing online valve diagnostics testings on a regular basis. Safety valve testing include, partial stroke testing, solenoid valve testing, and wherever possible, full stroke testing. Valve condition can be constantly monitored, using the diagnostics data, gained from the tests performed by the controller. And the alert is made when the performance is poor, before it run into failure. In addition, the valve controller is able to collect the valve diagnostics data, during ESD trip situations. With the availability of these testings, a positive move can be made toward predictive maintenance, as opposed to preventive maintenance. Therefore we are able to extend time between overhauls, and to optimize the use of maintenance resources. At the same time, the availability of safety valves is maximized because, valve-related online diagnostics are integrated into device functionality. With this kind of approach, premature and random valve failures are identified, and maintenance team would be notified with the health alert, so that they can perform the repair, or overhaul the valve before it fails and lead to a plant shutdown. In this way, the valve performance is maintained at optimum level, and minimizes the unexpected plant shutdowns, which improves overall plant availability. The key focus here is really two things. Mean time to repair, and mean time between failures. We are doing this to increase the plant availability which make more profitable business. Condition-based monitoring influences to increase lifetime of the valve, which is mean time between failures. It helps to identify the corrective action in case of failures, therefore we can accelerate the time to overhaul, which is mean time to repair. Valve diagnostics gives full footprint of the valve performance, and how valve works. Our diagnostic unit uses data acquisition which takes inputs from pressure sensors, position sensors during valve operation and testing. The diagnostic analysis helps in making a predictive maintenance decisions like, repair the valves that need maintenance. In some cases, valves can remain in line and only require minor work. With the valve historical trends and visualized diagnostic information, Maintenance managers, engineers and process operators are capable of making decisions concerning the scheduling of the valve maintenance. This instantly cuts the costs involved in valve servicing and maintenance. With our simple technology, valves can have monitoring unit permanently installed, or we can even do monitoring of the installed valves with our portable unit. The process begins with a meeting between valve controls and the customer team to determine responsibilities, scope, and review the valve instrumentation architecture to find valve type, actuator type, control system, supply media, and so on. Then we suggest a suitable monitoring method and prepare a plan for installation. With our diagnostic equipment, various tests are performed regularly and precisely to measure the performance of a valve, that may be degrading over time. Then the data is analyzed using our diagnostic software, which visually presents an overview of the valve operation, and time series analysis. Finally, collaboration session will be scheduled with site personals, 
to discuss action plan based on the solutions to the identified conditions and future maintenance. Our simple monitoring and diagnostic unit offers below benefits. Peace of mind on the implementation. Real-time monitoring and storing data. Performing trend analysis. And making an action plan for the predicted valve maintenance. Valve data collected by the diagnostic unit is transferred to our diagnostic software for further analysis. Our DTM certified diagnostic software which has Val Controls Diagnostic Center, VCDC, can be installed on AMS or on a standalone computer. Once the collected data is analyzed, the result will be displayed in the simple graphic user-friendly faceplate, which gives an overview of the valve's performance in the plant. So one can come to know which valves are performing good and which are not. By focusing the maintenance actions on the valves really needing maintenance, significant maintenance cost savings can be achieved. To conclude that the valve performance is degraded, the historical performance should be analyzed. It is done using valve trend analysis software, which is VCDC. More detailed study on the performance will be done by our experts. For those who wants, just monitoring of ESD closing and opening time without any diagnostics testing, simple monitoring solution can be offered. By monitoring solenoid valve reaction time, even the solenoid valve health is monitored. With this kind of intelligent valve condition monitoring solutions, the plant can take full advantage to enhance many of its key performance metrics, such as safety, reliability, quality, and production. If you want to know more details about our products and solutions, please visit our website or contact us. Thank you for your time.